Youth sports hockey is very strong and it's not very diluted. It's very, very good hockey that's up and coming and challenging NCAA D1. It's not quite at that level yet, but it will challenge them more and more as time goes on. So here are the top 10 youth sports hockey programs as of 2022. What's going on guys? This is Brian from Advancement Hockey Advising here and today we'll be covering the top 10 new sports hockey programs as of 2022. All right, so we're back with yet another spicy, controversial video and I absolutely love it. People are gonna be hating on me or gonna be attacking me in the comments and telling me that I know nothing about hockey, but you know what? That's totally fine, I can handle it because I know when I give out this kind of information, it helps you guys out, right? Obviously, all of you sports is quite strong. It's very good hockey. Most guys playing there are guys that are coming from Major Junior, but it's good to know which one are the top 10 programs, right? So what we're gonna do here is rank the top 10 programs. The criteria we're gonna use is first, the my hockey rankings of the past season so 2021 2022 typically we like to do a five-year average but that data just wasn't available unfortunately but I looked at it last top 10 of this season the current ranking that we have honestly is pretty representative as to what the the top programs are year in and year out so that's the first metric the second metric we're gonna use is number of pro advancements now for this past season they were all very similar and only a few programs really stood out as advancing more guys to pro so that's gonna be one thing that we're gonna weigh in and uh, skewing the list a little bit outside of the my hockey rankings so overall that's what we're gonna be using hopefully you guys like this video if you do what would an AHA video be without me asking you to absolutely destroy that like button because it goes a long way for the algorithm and for more people to see this kind of video and if you're new here considering hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss another video moving forward all right guys that's it for the intro here let's dive right into our rankings all right so we're kicking off our list here at number one with University of New Brunswick now this is where we deviated from our list a little little bit already because in the U sports or my hockey rankings uh, they were ranked at number two but by looking at the number of pro advancements last year they had seven pro advancements which is way more than every other team that, that we've seen for the past season so because of that because it was really close at number two and we could tell that these guys are always a powerhouse program day in and day out and because of their high number of pro advancements we decided to place them at number one on our list all right now moving on to position number two here on our list and that is the University of Alberta now these guys were actually at number one on the U Sports and the My Hockey rankings list. But because they only had four pro advancements compared to the other guys who had seven, they're gonna be slightly lower on our list. These guys are both powerhouse programs. They both can really have great caliber and great players playing there. But because of the number of pro advancements last year, we're just favoring uh, University of New Brunswick over Alberta in this year's ranking. So moving on to number three on our list here is the University of Quebec at Trois-Rivières. And this is our first Quebec school here. And again, here they were ranked at number four on the U Sports or my hockey rankings but because they had more pro advancements than the other team we're designed to rank them at number three so their number of pro advancements was six which is pretty significant and really close to University of New Brunswick and you'll see University of New Brunswick and these guys here Trois-Rivières are the ones that had the most pro advancements compared to the other ones that had like four or three that's why we're giving these guys a special bonus moving them to number three on our list here all right now we're moving on to number four on our list which is Saint FX in Nova Scotia now these guys here are ranked at number three Three, but we're giving them a slight spot down under Trois-Rivières just because they had three pro advancements compared to six pro advancements at Trois-Rivières for the past season. Now, Saint FX, I know is a top program year in and year out. I actually have a buddy that played there. He was a great, great hockey player. They're really known to be, you know, a powerhouse program in hockey. So maybe they had a bit of an off season this year in the rankings or something like that because usually you see them at either number one or number two. But for this year, we're going to give them number four. Just know that if we do the ranking again next year, they're probably going to be higher on the list. All right. Right, so number five on our list here is Ryerson located in Toronto these guys you know they were at number five on the U sports list and they had four pro advancements which made them right around average so we didn't have to skew the list or anything with these guys Ryerson always known as a good program pretty reputable university in Ontario as well it's a great spot to go if you're a guy who played major junior or even if you're a guy that played you know high-end junior a and had good stats really good program to go to as well all right now moving on to number six on our list here is the University of British Columbia they were six in the past season's U Sports or My Hockey Rankings list. And they also had four pro advancements last year, which makes them really close to, to Ryerson. Honestly, UBC is a really good school to go to. So they're really big on academics and their, you know, their hockey program is solid. So they are at number six on our list. All right, so moving on to number seven on our list here, which is Mount Royal in Calgary. 
Now for these guys here, they were number seven on the U Sports and the My Hockey rankings list. And they also had four pro hockey advancements, okay? So nothing too different from the other ones and nothing much else to say except that, you know, they're located in a really big hockey town and uh, you'll probably get a lot of fans coming to your games if you go there. So really good program in Mount Royal at number seven. All right, now moving on to number eight here and that is Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario. Now, for those of you who don't know Queen's, it's a really, really reputable university in Canada, okay? It's very big on academics. So even though it's at number eight on our list, which is still really good considering all the U sports programs, if you value academics a lot, this is really a school that may be more towards the top of your list, especially if you're close in the area, if you're from the Ontario area. So at number eight, they were on the U sports and my hockey rankings number eight, and they had three pro hockey advancements the past season. So honestly, it's, it's just a really good spot to go to if you want to play really good hockey and if you really value academics. All right, so moving on to number nine on our list here, and that is Brock, which is located in St. Catharines, Ontario. These guys, they were at number nine on the U Sports or My Hockey Rankings list, so nothing's changed there. And they had three pro hockey advancements last year. So pretty decent in the stats, really good program to go to as with all the U Sports programs here. And there's not that much else to say about Brock. If you want to play some good hockey and you get recruited by them, definitely a good spot to go to. All right, now moving on to number 10 on our list here. And this is the only one in Saskatchewan. You probably guessed it, the University of Saskatchewan in Saskatoon. They were number 10 in the U Sports or My Hockey Rankings. Also, they had four pro hockey advancements last year so could we put them a little bit over Brock we could have maybe because of the extra pro hockey advancement but it's so close that you know we just left it as is because that's how it was ranked in the U sports ranking last year in terms of that if you're from Saskatchewan and you want to play some really good hockey after major junior or if you played in the SJ or something like that and you're a really good player and you get recruited by these guys a great great spot to go to to continue your hockey career and get an education at the same time all right guys that's a wrap for our list here so basically you could probably tell that there's a lot of really strong hockey pro programs in there and our list didn't really move that much except for a couple teams where we had the pro advancements that was a big factor but it was very consistent in the number of pro advancements and that's because U sports hockey is very strong and it's not very diluted it's very very good hockey that's up and coming and challenging in NCAA D1 it's not quite at that level yet but it will challenge them more and more uh, as time goes on very very good hockey as you can tell these top 10 programs obviously we only did this past season but if we did the past five if we had that data we'd see that the same programs are probably come again and again and that's because they're just elite programs in U sports you'll see that if we do the list next year it's going to vary a little bit but you're probably going to see a lot of the same programs in there so that's just one note to take all right now let's just do a quick recap of the list here so here are the top 10 U sports hockey programs as of 2022 number one university of new brunswick number two university of alberta number three university of quebec trois rivières number four saint fx number five ryerson number six is the university of british columbia number seven Mount Royal, number eight, Queen's University. Number nine, we got Brock. And then number 10, we got University of Saskatchewan. All right, guys, that is it for the video. Hopefully you got some value out of it and the keyboard warriors don't chew me up too much with this list here. If you did like this video and if you haven't already, consider absolutely destroying that like button because it goes a long way for the algorithm and for more people to see this video. Also too, if you're new here and if you like this kind of content, you wanna see more, consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss another video moving forward. Also, if you had any questions, anything you want to talk talk to us about whatsoever, feel free to drop a comment down below or send us a private email at info at ahadvising.com and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you on that next one.